You know, when loot boxes are out there, there is some dangerous precedences that are set for them. The gambling aspect, the loot boxes, how they will overtake your life and take all the money out of your wallet. But finally, finally, one of the governments or one of the courts have stepped up and fined one of these companies. They fined Activision Blizzard for using or not disclosing loot boxes in their product placement for Diablo Immortal in the UK version of their rating system, Piggy, whatever it is. Yes, we were all remember Diablo Immortal, the pay to win version of Diablo, where if you sat there and you unloaded your wallet, you got extra value for everything you went through. Activision Blizzard fined for not disclosing Diablo Immortal loot boxes to Piggy. That's the UK version where they do the rating, the mature or, or kids friendly or whatever it is. But don't you guys have credit cards? Remember that clip? Don't you all have cell phones? Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone, right? You can play your tablet too. Don't you all have phones? They only cost like a thousand dollars. Don't you all have phones? Well, Activision Blizzard has been fined. 5,000 euros for not disclosing loot boxes in, in the UK. 5,000? 5,000 euros. They've only been fined 5,000 euros. What, what kind of ridiculous thing is this? This is like the NHL fining $5,000 for an illegal hit to the head. Like, is this the maximum that they can fine for, for this company? This multi-billion dollar company at this point, million, billion, whatever. $5,000 is a complete slap to the face. It's not even a slap to the wrist. It's like, oh, you bought us breakfast. Oh, I guess we get a free pizza, pizza lunch at the Peggy Rating Committee. Are you kidding me? $5,000? That's a complete and utter joke. You put a game out there on the market, you go through the marketing, the, the rating system, you don't disclose that there's loot boxes in there, you make a million dollars and get fined $5,000. Like, what is the deterrent here? What is the deterrent here for Peggy not to sit there and say, yeah, yeah, here, here just give us $5,000, you can put all the loot boxes you want and we won't disclose it in our rating system. That is the problem here. Piggy, which is the UK version of this, needs to step it up. If loot boxes aren't being disclosed in the ratings for these video games that are be re being released to the consumer, they're not protecting the consumer. They're not stepping up and actually doing us a favor at all. They're, all they're doing is letting it slide on by and say, buy us pizza lunch and we will let you have all the loot boxes you, can, you want. You wanna make a million dollars tomorrow? Put loot boxes in your game. We're only asking for $5,000. Hey, this, this is a great time. If you like this content, do support the content. Go check out my Patreon or sign up for channel memberships. Hey, hey, if you want, tip me down below in the comments $5. I'll highlight it for you guys because I, that's the least I can do. I'm not asking for you to spin a roulette wheel and then suddenly get a loot box into this channel. I'm just saying, listen, if you like this and you want to support it, it's there. But this is absolutely ridiculous that it's only a $5,000 fine for not disclosing loot boxes. Well, this kind of gets worse because now Nintendo on top of that is also seeing a lawsuit over Mario Kart Tour loot boxes. Loot boxes are one of those things that I, I have a general problem with them in video games because they take everyone's money and you don't get anything substantial for them. It's always a digital product. You don't actually get to own anything. And in most cases in their uh, EULA, your, your, what you signed off to be able to play the video game, you won't own it, it even if the game goes belly up or disappears. Nintendo is also facing a lawsuit in, re in retaliation to Spotlight's Pipes loot boxes that were available in a mobile game with Mario Kart until September 2020. These have been removed. Someone, uh, a kid spent $170 of their parents' credit card money to buy these loot boxes because it was addictive and dangerous and the gambling of them. 
they've been removed from the game. So much the same deal. This one actually is going through the courts and is actually through a class action lawsuit right now because there's many more people, but it's in the game without purchasing them and trick players into spending more money. It's absolutely ridiculous at this point. Loot boxes are a bane when it comes to when it comes to these games and they're the, they create a pay to win scheme. They create a situation now where the rating systems don't step up and warn you that they're in the games. So where do they need to go? Loot box. Honestly, if there's a loot box in a game, I think you need to have, have some sort of parental consent. You shouldn't be letting your kids even look at them, let alone continue it on with playing these games. Battle passes are one thing where they offer cosmetics and offer certain uniqueness to them. And sometimes a faster track. A, and honestly, I don't think uh, experience or leveling should be offered in a battle pass because it should only be cosmetics that you're changing. Things that don't actually generate a different way of playing the game or create a pay to win solution. If you want loot boxes, they literally have to be just by themselves, just by themselves. But this also goes into even deeper. PS Go is also another one that's uh, on these problems with loot boxes. They, they create a gambling aspect of the game. There's actually sites out there right now. I went and when I, when I was reading on, up on this, uh, Counter-Strike Go Roll is a gambling site where you put in real money, get in-game currency or in-site currency, and you use them to gamble to get uh, these skins, these cosmetic skins, which are in turn sellable. So now you can gamble for something, bypass the, the current laws like the IRS and then sell these skins for astronomical prices. If you happen to hit the jackpot, this is, this is the practice and why things need to be really looked at when it comes to loot boxes and cosmetics. They are starting to envelop a lot of ways. And in, in all honesty, this is creating a way to launder money through all of these companies. So Activision Blizzard gets fined $5,000. So the substantialness of this is that these companies aren't being handed million dollars in fines they're not the incentive of this is there they make millions of dollars on loot boxes and cosmetics but there's no reason not to stop because no one's stepping up to the plate and that is the major reason why i've made this video please let me know what your thoughts are down below i'm your proud canadian phoenix in a shadow have yourselves a great day don't forget to like and subscribe